Hi friends, welcome back. So today I wanted to make a video about kind of getting rid of debt and getting yourself into a better financial situation. Um, I started this journey about three or four years ago um, and it just started because we were just so tired of being in debt and having to pay so much money in credit card interest fees um, and we decided to make a big change. So <clears throat> three or four years ago, we were living in a apartment and we had been really trying to buy a house, um, but it was really hard for us to get approved because our debt to income was so high. Um, we were finally able to get approved, but it was for way less than we were wanting to and the condo we got approved for wasn't the greatest, but we knew that financially it would make more sense than paying $500 more in rent than we were. Um, for this condo and the condo was bigger too. It just wasn't what we were looking for um, But it ended up being one of the best choices that's happened um, so our rent being $500 four or five hundred dollars less um, Really opened up a lot of opportunities for us. We were able to Start to make big changes with our finances um, So the first thing we did we wanted to get rid of our credit card debt. We each had two credit cards um, I know, I think both of mine were maxed out and my husband's were pretty close to being maxed out too. Um, so first thing we did was made a list of all of our bills um, and we went through to see what was necessary and what was unnecessary. So we went through all of like our subscriptions um, and our cable, we got rid of our cable because that's like, that was like almost $100 a month which we didn't need. Um, and then like our Netflix and all those other subscriptions. We kept our Netflix, um, all the other ones we got rid of though. And then after that was set, we went through our actual bills that we needed. Um, I called the internet company and got that lowered. Um, I think we're on the lowest plan, but our internet works great. I don't, I didn't notice a difference at all. And I think we got that to about $50 a month. Um, and then our, um, what's it called? Um, having a brain block. Our cell phone. <laughs> Our cell phone, we had um, Verizon, and they are great. We had no problem with them whatsoever. Um, but it was like $80 a month, and we just couldn't afford that anymore. Or we could afford it, we just wanted to, you know, lower our bills. Um, so we went, we found um, Comcast, who our internet is through, um, and they have a phone company, which I didn't know. Um, so we got set up through them and it was really easy. We did it ourselves. We like sent a little chip card. Um, and our bill for both of our phones total is $25 a month. That's with the lowest amount of data, which works out okay for us. Sometimes we go over, but our bill has never been more than, I think like $45, which is like less than half than it was before. Um, so those things made a huge difference. I was saving us a couple hundred dollars a month with just those pretty easy things. Um, and then another big thing we did was we started doing meal plans and grocery budgets. Um, the grocery budgets were much easier to do like three years ago when <laughs> everything wasn't super expensive. Um, but since then I've just kind of adjusted as needed and what's um, reasonable or possible with what's going on right now in the grocery costs um, but every week I make a meal plan for our dinners um, and depending on like what's going on that week I'll make easier meals for weeks that I know are really busy or um, weeks that I know I have a little bit more time I'll do more um, in-depth recipes but I always make sure that um, the recipes have enough food for my husband to have leftovers so that he's not buying any um, food for lunchtime at work which also saves a lot of money and then with the meal planning, it also makes a huge difference with food waste. Um, so we're buying exactly what we need and not um, just like randomly just buying a bunch of stuff at the store hoping that we'll eat it and we actually do eat it all. Um, and then also with the grocery budget kind of put into that, I do like a grocery pickup which saves me a lot of money too because I'm not in the store spending extra money that I don't need. Um, so I'll go through my phone and like check our um, pantry and stuff, see what we need, check the fridge, um, and then go over all the meal plans or the recipes for that week, see what we need and we don't need. Um, and that way I can like see uh, the amount that's in our cart and be able to adjust what I need to just to stay in the budget that we have. 
um, our budget for for us for a week I like to try to keep it under 175 which has been pretty easy um, again I can kind of adjust it if um, I need a more expensive item then I can kind of do a cheaper recipe that week and I don't know it gives a little bit more flexibility um, but yeah those things are huge they make a big difference more than you think it's funny how much money you spend on food if you're not keeping track of it um, and also we don't eat out very often maybe we'll eat out once a month but that's not, that's not there's months where we don't eat out at all um, another big one is most of the stuff we have in our house we thrift so if we need something new I'll start with the thrift store first um, it's pretty rarely that I have to buy something like new at the store which makes a huge difference cost wise um, my local thrift store has half off on Mondays so a lot of times I'll go there and see what they have um, unable to find clothes and kitchen items and anything really I need for that that makes a huge huge difference and it's fun I like thrifting um, if you don't like thrifting then maybe that's a, a no-go for you but um, maybe modify it as you like but I find it really fun and rewarding um, and then monthly budgeting that's a huge one for us too um, so every month I go through and see what bills we ask we have to pay um, and then how much money that is left over for us to spend on like fun things or whatnot um, and then also how much you want to put into our savings account um, that makes a big difference it helps us to kind of be accountable with our spending and what we have in our bank account and um, obviously there's months where things come up and you know <clears throat> a lot of this stuff's out the window or or whatnot but I think having a base of it is helpful and um, yeah I think that helps a lot all right I think that's it for now yeah I think that's it I covered a lot of different bases if you guys have any ideas um, leave them down below that'd be great um, I hope this kind of gives you a little bit of insight into things that maybe you want to do or what you don't want to do um, but just some ideas and maybe you have some too that would be helpful for me um, yeah, I like videos like this. Hopefully you do too. Alright, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.